different types of reconciliation discrepancies that you can have. So you will mess up a reconciliation in five potential ways. One, by voiding the transaction. Voiding a transaction that has already been cleared or reconciled is going to change the amount to zero that's going to break your reconciliation. Two, you can break a reconciliation by manually unclearing a transaction. I'll show you. I'm going to actually break them all for you to show you. Three, you can change the actual account. Whatever the transaction is, you're going to look at the bank account. You, you switch the bank account. It's going to screw up with the reconciliation. The fourth way is by actually deleting the transaction. And the fifth way is just by changing the dollar amount. Okay, That's sort of the same as void, but void feels like a different type of trend. Uh, event per se, but void is essentially zeroing out a transaction, which, mean, which means changing the amount, right? Okay, so those are the five ways you can screw up a reconciliation, and we're gonna break we're gonna break it using all five ways. Okay, so let's go into so let's do void uh, on clearing manually. <clears throat> let's do all of them. Okay, so let's go into uh, reconcile. Let's go reconcile, and we're gonna look at our next month here. 8208 that has the correct beginning balance of 582295. So right now it's good. There's no reconciliation discrepancies. Now what happens if I start breaking that reconciliation? So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come into the check register and I'm going to start screwing up with some of these transactions. And again, why am I showing you how to screw them up? That way you try to figure out how they were messed up in the first place. Okay. So let's say for example this one for Robert Gonzalez. I'm going to change the dollar amount. I'm going to put $1,000 more. Uh, actually, let's not do this one because that's the one that we cleaned out. Let's use uh, maybe this one right here. I'm going, to add, I'm going to put one in there, and I'm literally just changing the amount of a transaction. I'm going to click on Save. It says, hey, you should probably not do this. I'm going to say, yes, I don't care. Anyway, it says, hey, you're going to mess up your reconciliation. And I'm going to click Don't Warn Me and click on Yes. This is what end users do. They say, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay, and that's it. You you done it. You screwed up your reconciliation. Okay, you changed the dollar amount of a previously reconciled transaction. There's no way to lock this. Okay? QuickBooks will only give you a warning, but if you have access to the to the banking, you will be able to do this. Let's take a look at this next one. I'm gonna click on Edit, and then what I'll do is I'm gonna void it. So I'm gonna go to More, click on Void. Okay, and then it says Are you sure you want to void? I click on Yes, and that's the exact same thing as changing the dollar amount. I changed it to zero. Voiding a transaction is basically just changing the amount to zero. That's what it means. So I got two, I messed up two ways. One, I changed the dollar amount in one. I voided the other one, which is the same thing as changing the dollar amount. Let's go to this one and delete it. So I'm going to delete a, a transaction that's been reconciled. I'm going to click on yes and yes. So I just deleted it. Again, I ignored all the warning signs. And then the other ones that we have is manually uncleared and change the source account, okay? So changing the source account means the following. Let's say we look at a particular transaction. I'm gonna edit it. And then I'm looking at it and I, say, and I say, you know what? That didn't come out from this account. It came out, let's say, from this account. And then click on Save. That's going to uh, for sure mess up your reconciliation. Now, one of the cool things is whenever the transaction has been previously matched, it actually won't let you make a change of that level. So that gives you a little bit of a protection, but guess what? Uh, you can click here on the match, and you can click on match, okay? And then by unmatching it, now you no longer have that protection. I can now change it to whatever other random account I want, hit save and close, and done. So I screwed up that one by manually, uh, by, by changing the source account. And the last one is unclearing manually, which basically means I look at a transaction and I say, you know what? I feel like clicking on this R. And I feel I'm like clicking on the R again. And I feel like clicking on save. And then I feel, and I want to uh, ignore this and click yes. Okay? So again, it takes a lot of steps to do it. But no matter how, end users, as an accountant, I can tell you this, end users find a way to screw things up. Okay? So I'll show you all five ways that you can mess up a reconciliation. So then when I try to reconcile the bank account, it tells me right here, that begin my beginning balance is off. It's off by $4,700, and we can, quote, help you fix it. When I click on we can help you fix it, we're going to see all five transactions in here. Now, one thing that's really cool about this screen, many people ignore it, is there's a link here that says learn more about fixing it. 
and it opens up a little help window and it does show you some of the ways that you can do it. Um, I Honestly, I've never gone through this help window, so I don't know how complete it is. Um, so, um, but you can go through it and see, and read through it and see if the solutions are good enough. I've, I, I already know sort of by heart how to do it, but it's something you want to look at. Let's go back into that screen. The other thing is here, it says, show me around. That's pretty cool here because it will actually tell you, uh, based on each instance, what you should be doing. So you should be editing the amount. On this one is, you need to recreate a deleted transaction. If I click on the next one, it says, you know, hey, it's just kind of guiding you through the process. So these things that we normally ignore, it, it actually does a great job at kind of walking you through what the problems are. So I welcome you not to, like, sort of ignore this screen. This screen is actually pretty awesome in my, in my perspective. Like, seriously, seriously awesome. So let's start with the first one amount was changed. This is the easiest one to fix. All you have to do is click on view history. You're going you're gonna to be able to see the audit trail. You'll be able to look at the original transaction that was entered uh, for 8,063. This is when it was first cleared. And then when I look at my change here, it looks, it's highlighted in yellow what the last change was. This basically changed. So all I have to do is click on the transaction itself. Um, and then I would change that dollar amount. Now, if you're wondering, how do we look at these audit trails? Well, if you click on the More button, we can click on Audit History, and that will take me to that same screen that shows the history of the transaction that, that it was prompted from the reconciliation discrepancy report. Okay, so let's fix that. Basically, go back, remove that extra one, and put the right dollar amount, save and close, hit Yes, and Yes, done. So we fixed that, okay? So we go back into our reconciliation screen, Let's go to refresh. So we go back into our discrepancy screen. Let's click on that. Okay, so that went away. Beautiful. The next one says multiple changes. So what happened here, unfortunately, when you change the source account, it says multiple changes because it, does, it doesn't know how to identify change of a source, source account. So you got to click on the view history, and you have to see it. You have to kind of catch it. So we're going to look at the original transaction when it was done correctly, when it was reconciled. The transaction was Chase 8208. When I look at the latest change, we see, again, the multiple changes is it was unmatched, it was marked uncleared, and the source account changed. Even though I only did two of those things, I only unmatched it and changed source account, the unclearing kind of happens manually. So because there's three changes, essentially, in that one change, it doesn't tell you that the source account changes. It just says that there's multiple changes. Basically, that's the reason why it does that. So all I have to do is go back in here and put and fix it, put the correct account. So change this back to the correct account and then click on save and close. Okay. So we go back into um, go back into that screen that showed me all my reconciliation discrepancies. Okay, I may have to go into the gear menu and click on reconcile and click change the account and then go back into we can help you fix it. Great. Uh, okay, so that transaction is fixed per se, but it's, we haven't reconciled it yet, so it says uncleared on the register. Same thing as the one we manually uncleared on the register. So to fix uh, those two, uh, to fix those two, we're just simply going to uh, reconcile them back in the register. Let's look at the transaction that was voided. And the way I know this is a void is because the reconcile amount has a dollar amount, and then the current amount has zero. That's how I know it was voided. I could also open it and see the word void in it. But all I have to do is go back and change the amount. So one of the cool things about this screen is you can make some of the changes and then click on save. Okay. And then in here, from here, I can also manually reconcile it by clicking on the R. So I no longer have to go back into the register to do it, which is pretty neat. So I'm going to click on save. And then I go to this one. And I'm also going to manually reconcile it. But instead of doing it from here, you just click on cancel. I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it somewhere else. I'm going to go straight into the register. Okay. So I'm going to go straight into the register. So let's go into uh, the chart of accounts. And then go straight into view register. And then we're going to look at that $4,000 and change, uh, $400 and change, manually clear from here. So I'm just showing you same exact action. Click on yes and yes. 
And then when I go back to my other screen, I'm going to click on refresh, and that's going to clean itself out, okay, um, when I go back into the screen. And the only one that's left is the one that has been deleted. So this is the hardest one to fix because you actually have to look at the audit trail. And after you look at the audit trail, you are going to see what it looked like before. So it was a transaction to Zelle for 262.50 on their Ask My Account. Okay, so I have to recreate the transaction. I can simply do it from here. Click on New. Click on Expense. Put here Zelle or whatever the vendor name was. Okay, I forgot what the original date is. I'll put it, I'll just put one around them here. Put Ask My Accountant. So basically, when you delete it, there's no way to bring it back from the dead. Okay, so um, you have to recreate the transaction. So once the transaction is recreated, I can go back into my um, uh, my history screen here. Let me click on refresh. Okay, so we're gonna go reconcile again. The one that was recreated, <coughs> there's no way to link the transaction that was deleted uh, with the new one. So that one's always gonna show up in there still as a discrepancy. Okay, so for that one and that one only, what I should do is I should re-reconcile again. So let me come in here with the um, with the correct dollar amount. What was the correct dollar amount? It was 582.695.64. That was correct dollar amount. So I'll copy it from here. Then I'll go back, paste it in here. So essentially, I'm going to re-reconcile the last uh, reconciliation I had. Okay. So re-reconcile the last reconciliation I have. It was 02, 01, 2021. That was the last time I reconciled. Click on Start Reconciling. Bring in the transaction I created to replace the one that was deleted. Bring that in there. Click on finish now. And that, my friends, is how you fix reconciliation discrepancies. Okay? Beautiful fix.